It was somewhat difficult to see us. I mean, we were watching our steps like this because we weren't quite sure. Yeah. He was coming down the steps. Perfect. It was pure needle. I was very close to him when he said that. <laughs> he was really surprising in how he would say just the right thing at the right time. Oh, it, it's uh, overjoyed. It's unbelievable. I've never had uh, such great feelings in my life. recommend that people stay indoors during the smog alert. Now, maybe I'm way off, but don't you think, wouldn't you assume that the air in the house pretty much comes from the air in the city where the house is? I mean, what do they think? We live in a jar with a couple of holes punched in it? Tonight? I don't know what's going on out there. Very strange. I mean, you realize it is now possible for parents to say to their children,
So what I wanted to show you guys here is when I dimpled the main spar of this aileron, you can see that my female dimple die was actually too large and it contacted the inside of the corner. And me being a noob, I just kept going because I'm an idiot at this stage. And if you see the little, um, I guess, little scratch marks in the corner there, those are marks from my hand seamer, which I think I'm going to sand flat. And uh, I had to basically hand seam the spar back to 90 degrees because when the dimpler came down and smashed that, it... Um, spread the spar apart so not ideal um, but definitely a huge uh, you know I, I learned a lot here and um, so I basically straightened the spar back to 90 as well as possible and I checked that with my, uh, with my you know precision square here and I did I did a pretty good job. Um, it was it was fairly bad before. So um, I wanted to show you guys that before I prime the inside. Um, as you can see, I've already primed the outside, and um, you know, just a light primer. You can see my uh, my sharpie markings are still coming through, which is very helpful um, for identifying up and down, left and right, and whatnot. So, uh, but I did want to show you guys, again, um, that's what happens when your dimple die is too large. And I will say, as a remedy of the pro problem, what I've done is I've taken my ATI die, and, uh, I mean, I have the benefit of having a lathe at my disposal at work, and, um, I just basically machined the female die down to three eighths and it was about nine sixteenths it was uh... point five six and i brought it down to uh... three point seven five i'm sorry point three seven five um, you know i've been i've been looking around and uh... checking out cleveland tools and they've already done all this stuff for you so if you don't have access to a lathe head over to cleveland tools and uh... they have low profile female dyes um, that'll really help you out. What I did was I just ordered another, um, female from my, uh, my Snap-on dealer who, who can get me ATI tools and, uh, I just machined this one down. I'm probably going to do the same thing to, uh, the one eighth, uh, female. I'll, I'll spin this guy down to, um, probably three eighths as well from where it is just to, uh, give me better clearance and to prevent this from happening on the real thing so yeah off to the next step This is an Aston. Generally, I like.
Where are you? I'm um, at the docks. I'm about to get on the boat. He's already at the docks. Where are you? Um, yeah, we're in Guildford Creation. So you're only at Guildford, and I'm at the chance. Give it a few hours, and we'll be at least 150 miles ahead. I promise you. I'm going to win. Okay, just set up to prime some parts. I got them all scuffed down with 3M. And, uh, you know, we're not killing it. We're just trying to get some corrosion protection on here. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to let this set up for a couple minutes and uh, we'll come back and shoot him with another quick coat. 